Pichu, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope your days are going good and your lives are going even better than that. So we are going to be jumping into the band known as The Warning with their song called Stalker. We're carrying on within the story. She's in love with somebody. She's getting a little bit crazy about it. She's not really knowing what to do. She wants him. He doesn't want her, so... There's only one or two ways this is probably going, and considering this song is called Stalker, I'm 99.9% .9 sure that what I've been talking about is basically right up to this point. So, let me know down below what you think of my new lighting, man. I actually fixed my lighting for Did you like the old dingy shit, or do you prefer with the actual lighting like that I have, like that I just refuse to use because I'm lazy most of the time and stuff? Without further ado, let us keep going into this. I don't know why I said keep going this. Let's jump into this even. She sounds so personal, she sounds like she's snapping, that's crazy, that's awesome. It's crazy. That's a good pausing point right there. I think about three verses in, kind of not three verses, but like three paragraphs in. Um, she's she, she's definitely going crazy. She's definitely snapping a bit. She's, she's definitely going to that point where she's like whoop, and her mind's just fucking going on her. So let's jump straight into the lyrical goodness, man. Um, look at me, my dear. Look at me, my dear. I love you so, because I am yours and you are mine. As in, she's not even saying that it's like a obsession. It's saying you are mine and I am yours. And she's like basically saying that this is exactly how it is. And that's all that really matters in the long run, that she does not care anymore. That, that's how she sees it. I will hold you, my dear. I will hold you, my dear. I will tie the rope because I am yours and you are mine. As in, she will hold you. She will tie you down, like literally with the rope, tie the, tie the rope by the hand, neck, somewhere around there. Like, tie the rope literally, like, to fucking probably kill you. It's crazy how much I love you. It's crazy how much I want you. It's crazy, oh, you don't even know. It's crazy how much I think about you. It's crazy how I can't live without you. It's crazy how my love seems to grow. As in, yeah, you can just feel the way she's snapping as she's singing it. You can, you can feel the way that she's, like, really going into that feeling where she's turning that stalkerism into obsession into murder almost and literally going to that point where she's about to physically kill this person because she just can't stand seeing him not with her so instead of being like i want you it's you are mine now like there is no in between anymore i am i am a maniac when it comes to you i'm obsessed with what we both could be the possibilities she sees that her, the, her future their future in multiple infinite numbers of ways and so many different ways they could potentially go with what they could do what families they could build everything else they could do with their lives and it's just it's never gonna happen and something bad's gonna happen because of it she's gonna fucking snap on this dude and it's just not going to be good but it's going to fit with the theme of the album with queen of the murder scene quite obviously but still let's keep going Forever. Look at me, 
Let's just pause it right there. So as we can listen mostly to the rest of the song without much analysis after this point, man. So we may as well to, like do this, but right then we'll see. Um, where did where did we get to? I scrolled down way too far. So we've done that bit. We've done that bit, and then we got to about here, didn't we? So it's crazy how I need to have it. It's crazy. It's an ugly habit. Yes or no, whichever. I will have you someday. I will have you forever. So. It's crazy how I need to have it, the love, the fascination, the obsession. It's crazy, it's an ugly habit, stalking and obsession. It's a very ugly habit that she just can't seem to ditch. Yes or no, whichever. It doesn't really matter what you say, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do regardless. I will have you someday, I will have you forever, and she doesn't mean his love, she means she will physically have him forever, she will take a piece of him for herself, like, literally a piece of him for herself. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting from this, it's not like a... It's not a figurative, I will have you forever, it's a, I will have you forever, as in, I will fucking cut you up until I have you, literally, in my life, and just like, and then we're down to where we are now, and then until we get to the end, I can just pretty much not really do much analysis, so, we can just enjoy the rest of this song, it's gonna be great, man, let's keep going. It's crazy! I don't know that from, I know that from somewhere as well. It's going crazy, man. Uh, what bits did I miss? Like, I swear I missed something. Oh, that's the bit that I missed right now. The look at me. The look at me, my dear. I know I missed it when I did it before, but... Damn. It's so very close. I know the murder's about to happen. It's about to come at some point, because the, the next song is called Red Hands Never Fade, which is basically a way of saying I'm going to... F I fucking killed somebody. So... I know it's close, I can see, I can feel it in the music, it's coming ever closer. The more we go on, go on with this, the closer she gets to it. But still, look at me, my dear. Look at me, my dear. As in, does she already have him? Is she about to take him? Does she al Has she already done it? Is she just basically maniacally like, shouting at him, like, where the fuck don't you even look at me? Type shit, we don't know yet, but I love you so. Why don't you know that you are mine? Why don't you know that I've already claimed you, you are mine forever and it doesn't matter what you say? Say, I am yours, my dear. Say, I am yours, my dear. I will lock the door before you go again. Say it again. And, yeah, I think she's claimed him. I think this is the point where she's already kidnapped him. Or she has him in a place by herself where she can really get onto what she's trying to do. And then we go down to the very end. I want you to love me. Touch me. I don't know where that's from. And it's, not, and it's not lyrically, but the way it's produced, the way it's sung. It's from something else. It's inspired by something. I can't remember exactly what it's from, but it's from like an 80s, 90s kind of vibe that I'm getting. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below where the fuck it's from, because I know I recognise it. Let me in your heart. I want you to want me. Hunt me. Like I've done from the start. I want you to love me. Touch me. Let me in your heart. I want you to want me. Want me. Hunt me. Like I've done from the start. As in, yeah, like, 
she just wants his love, his attention, his affection. She let her stalker vibes get to such a point where she's now obsessed. That obsession's turning to anger. That anger's turning to aggression. That aggression is turning into murder. And murder is going to be the whole scene of the next song by the looks of it. It's going to be interesting to say the very, very least. If this isn't the end though. We still got to see the fucking live version of this. The live is going to be so sick just to see how she performs it live. Because like recorded, it sounds amazing. Never mind where we go from this point forward, Mama Stuff. Let's jump into it. She's so fucking aggressive. I love it, man. That's so sick. Just what I wanted to see. Listen to this, man. Oh, man. So sick, man. Just the voice is so epic and it's so good.
That was so fucking awesome. The way I don't know what she's channeling, what she's thinking about while she's singing it, but some party must have fucking hurt her in some way because the violence she's channeling and what she's singing about is so on the surface. Right, people who haven't suffered cannot sing like that. Like people who don't know the agony of life I cannot sing like that you know what I mean she must have gone through some shit I don't know what specifically I don't know what she's been through I don't know much about her but she's so young at this point I don't know what she went through but I hope it has nothing too serious because to be able to put that much passion and violence into what she's saying she must be channeling, channeling something very deep inside of her and I hope that whatever she went through was helped that she got counseling for whatever she went through because it sounds like because generally when you're singing, when you're doing this kind of vocal, you're not thinking about the actual lyrics that you're singing. You're thinking about that moment where you felt the same as the character you are portraying. So if you've never felt to that point of obsession and violence and murder, then it's so difficult to act like it. If you know what I mean, you have to kind of have that place inside of you that has it. Like, you either do or you don't, there's no in-between in it. You, you, you would notice if it wasn't that way, man, so... I'm still so hyped for this album, I'm so hyped just to see the murder happen now, because the next song, like I said, is Red Hands Never Fade. If you make it to this point in the video, I've got a question. Um, what, Which reaction have you guys watched? What was the best one so far? Who's broken it down the best up to this point? Like, What's your favourite react to, to this song specifically? It doesn't have to be me, just so you know. Like, It could be whichever one you want. Just so I can go check out to see what other people think. Like, You're welcome to say me if you want. If you honestly think that I've done the best, then let me know. If you think I can improve on some shit, let me know also. That's just what I want to do. I want to try to improve and grow and do a lot better with everything that I'm doing. I'm even putting fucking lighting in my videos now. How fucking insane am I getting? I have no idea, man. I'm just basically talking to myself at this point still. Either way fucking awesome song i love the fact that she's snapping and snapping and snapping just going through the three different the three different stages of snapping and it's just interesting to say the very least have a wonderful day evening or night and i will catch you guys in the very next video until then take it easy